All right, what's up guys? Tutorial number three in this series on making games in Unity. Today we're customizing characters or changing out the third person avatar that comes with the Unity 3D core scene. Now, three years ago when I was last teaching this project, Adobe had a really cool, look at me, look at the short hair, look at how young. <laughs> when I last taught this project, Adobe had a software called Adobe Fuse that was basically their character model or it was a really cool app that they had bought out. It basically had all the features of, of character creation in a lot of video games and you could export that as an FBX. They discontinued it. They don't even let you download it anymore. So I had to search for other uh, new options. Now, Adobe Mixamo is a browser-based Adobe, Adobe app that is fantastic. In Adobe Mixamo, which I covered in the old tutorials, you are able to upload your own character models or download some of their character models and use a lot of pre-stock animations that they have built in and then export as an FBX and send it to Unity, Blender, you name it. It's a really, really cool app. Adobe, don't discontinue this one. Oh my God. It's a really cool app. So you can download through their characters and if you see a character you like, you can click on it, you can use it, and then you can simply download it as an FBX and bring that into Unity. However, it didn't have the customization options that I was looking for. One of my students this semester, shout out Abraham, had recommended this website, readyplayer.me. It is an avatar creation website that I think is used for like the metaverse and NFTs and crypto and other just lovely things like that. But if you enter the hub, create a free account, they don't, I, it's, it's not a scam, I, I promise. You can edit um, and build your own avatar. So I am gonna open this up. It doesn't have as many customization options as Adobe Fuse used to, as other software that you guys might know of does, but it was good enough for me and I was able to create something that I felt like kind of fit me, right? The face and skin and hair are pretty robust. The outfits, you can only choose complete outfits, which uh, is uh, pros and cons to that. What is that? All right. Sure, I guess that looks like me on a school day. It's, it's limiting in some respects, but it, it's great to create something really quickly. So to download something from uh, readyplayer.me, readyplayer.me does not export as FBX. It exports as a .glb file, which is another 3D model file that we can use. So in my avatars menu, I'm just gonna click these three dots, click download avatar glb. I had some students find a way to copy the URL and actually bring the paste URL into Unity. Pros and cons to that, I, I think the pro is that it, it automatically updates so you don't need to worry about um, the file type and all that. The con is, is if this website ever changes anything, you need to relink it. So I'm just gonna download the GLB so I have the model. Open that in my downloads. Now the problem right now though, uh, I'll go ahead and name this, let's say a uh, Jenner tutorial. Unity doesn't work with the GLB. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna change that to an FBX using Blender. Um, so open a new scene in Blender. I'm gonna delete everything by pressing A to select all, X and then enter. Let's go ahead and file, import that GLB. It's in my downloads. There it is, generatutorial.glb. And what's cool about this website too is just like Adobe Fuse, is it automatically rigged everything. Um, if I go to material view, there he is, there's Jenner on a, on a day at work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press A to select all, and let's just export that as an FBX. Um, just like I showed in the last tutorial, you want to make sure that we're packing all the textures and materials into it. So let's name that something particular. Jenner Avatar, I'm going to say tutorial, just to distinguish it from other ones. I can right here from Blender, if I'm on the same uh, computer, I can go ahead and put that in my tutorial game folder. And then just like before, we need to change the path mode to copy. And then click this little box that says embed textures in FBX. That's an important step, otherwise it's gonna come in as an untextured file. So let's click export FBX, jump back to Unity. Now in my prefabs folder, I'm actually just gonna create a uh, new folder for uh, Jenner avatar, just so that I have all my stuff in one place instead of creating a mess in a prefabs folder. I thought I saved it to the folder, I saved it to the wrong folder, but here it is, Jenner avatar tutorial.fbx. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into my prefabs, super easy. And there it is. Now, a uh, few things to do here. One, from the other tutorial, let's go ahead and grab those materials and textures. Um, I see all these materials on it. So first, let's extract the textures, make sure it's the folder that the FBX is in, brings in all those texture files right here. Fix now for any of the normal maps. Dude, these are some lovely images. And then extract materials 
choose. And if all of that went according to plan, which it looks like it did, it will automatically update on the uh, model there. A few other things to do in here for the rig, right? Before I drag anything in, right? I'm still on the prefab. For the rig, I need to change the animation type from generic to humanoid. And then it's gonna be, for avatar definition, it's gonna say create from this model. Let's go ahead and apply that. We need that stuff. I don't know if I need to change anything for the model. For the colliders, we're just gonna use the capsule collider that comes with a third person controller that we did in the first part of the tutorial. So now let's go ahead and in our uh, hierarchy, let's select our player armature. I'm gonna press F to zoom in on it. If I open up this player armature in the hierarchy, I see we've got the player camera root, which is that object that the camera's following, geometry, and skeleton. Inside of geometry is the armature mesh that um, is the robot that it comes with. What I'm going to do is if I click on the player armature, the overarching thing, I can right click, prefab, unpack completely, and that basically like turns it into a prefab that I can open up and edit. And then again, inside of geometry, I'm going to delete their geometry mesh, their armature mesh, and bring mine in. Now it's important that I put it right there inside of geometry, not beneath, but inside of geometry. And now I'm in there. One more step we need to do is in player armature, over here in the animator, it still has armature avatar, like, the, like their stock avatar checked. I'm gonna change that to gener avatar. If you don't see it, you didn't change your your animation gener like generator. It's still, it's, you gotta change generic to humanoid, right? Just like we did in the previous step. I click on that. And then if all went according to plan, I hit play. There it is. There is the Ready Player Me avatar of Jenner running around the scene instead of the robot. So pretty cool. Use all these uh, steps from the from these first three tutorials to build out a really cool landscape, create a character, have that correct character run around the landscape. Um, my goal is the next tutorial, I'll show how to create a set of pickups and interactive pickups. We're going over it in class, but it's the same system that we use in the rollball game and I have tutorials like that from before. So you can just apply that knowledge to this knowledge and hey, there you go, you are a game designer. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, take care.